In this video, I'm going to show you how I make millions as a scav in Tarkov. Let's get it, boys. Right, so the map I always scav on is Interchange. I tend to do Interchange at nighttime when I can because it usually gives you the most amount of loot because people tend not to play nighttime. So, yeah, let's get straight into the scav. Right, okay, so... We actually got the spawn outside of the back of managers, so we're going to make our way into managers. So, the main goal of scaving on interchange is to make sure you try and hit all of these tech stores, okay? So, you've got, obviously, you've got managers here. There's tech items that spawn all over these shelves here. Tech items that spawn on these shelves here. Unfortunately, nothing in the back here. Right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to check these boxes. You can get a GPU spawn on here and a Tetris spawn check the pcs all of them so pc one's here there's a second pc here We've got nothing in this one and there's a third pc right here i always get lost with that one again nothing in here unlucky then we're gonna check these front bits then we're gonna quickly check this duffel bag So it looks like managers actually was looted. So it's a bit unlucky. So we're going to head over. Make sure you try and hit up all PMCs and stuff if you see any. So this PMC actually had a level 4 armor. So we're going to take that. We're also going to take his meds because they are useful. Right. Next, we're going to head our way over to the next tech store. So, usually I actually do not check these areas, but we didn't get the greatest spawn for the usual spots I hit. Obviously, you cannot guarantee that you're going to make millions every single raid, but as long as you check all the spots that are good... You can see if you can find some really good stuff here. I found a lot of GPUs, a lot of Tetrises, things like that. It's easy ways to make money, to be honest. But yeah, so we've checked TTS. Now, it looks like someone looted Emicom. So we're going to make our way over to German. This is a RFID reader. There we go. That's 150k. Another PSU. Right, so around here is usually where these are actually the main spots I check on every single scav run. So I check them three main tech stores. So the first one we hit is Rasmussen. This is actually usually where I find the most amount of textures and stuff. Make sure you check behind here. So many people miss this spot. So we're going to make sure we hit all the shelves. Unfortunately, doesn't look like there's anything too good in here. Someone has looted this, unfortunately. So that case has been looted. Right, so we're going to hit Teco now. So, DVD drive. Not worth taking. He, okay, motor is worth taking. So, we're going to take that. That's a nice 45k. No CPU. Okay, power cord again. Worth taking. Um, usually... Yeah, so I'll always take a power cord. Also, I'm going to be honest with you, lads. I never hold on to my mags. I don't really use my scav to try and kill a bunch of players. I mainly just use it to grab loot and get out. So I do tend to drop majority of my mags that I have. Next place we're going to check is the good old tech light. Someone has turned on power, though. So the alarms are absolutely deafening me right now. Another power cord, chap. So that's more money. Oh, 
Okay, LCD. Definitely worth. That's 22k to traders. Another LCD. Um, we're actually going to throw out a PSU. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make more money from just the items I found in the PSU itself. Yeah, PSUs at this point in wipe aren't really the greatest, I'll be honest. So I only tend to pick them up. It's kind of a last resort item. Right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to make our way into good old Ollie. Right, we'll check the two PCs here. So there is one PC on the left. One PC behind you. Fortunately, nothing good there. We're then going to check the two PCs here. Fortunately, just wires here. And this one, the scav shouldn't be able to loot it. Because he is AI, so we are good. Right, then, we check these shelves here, okay? This is where you can make a lot of money. Water filters, especially at this point in life, wipe are super, super expensive. So you can make 70k per water filter. Unfortunately, nothing spawned here. I assume someone's probably looted it. Majority of the time, though, you'll get a good amount of spawns there. Probably for motors. A lot of um, the white cable, uh, the white tubing. They're worth taking as well. They're 10k to therapist, so it's worth. Okay, unfortunately, nothing really good there. Right, make sure you check all of these shelves here. These don't spawn anything. There can be car battery spawns along here, if you don't know, if you're still doing that uh, car repairs quest. There seems to be a scav or a player over here, so... Hello. Hopefully he does not kill me, chat. Okay, so we're just going to loot the helix here. Again, there are spawns back here, so be aware of this. There's usually water filters that spawn over here. Some more stuff can spawn over on this bit here. Again, I get a lot of water filters that spawn up here. I don't think this guy's going to kill me. Okay, make sure you loot this toolbox back here. There's some good loot in here sometimes. So elite pliers, 10k. Tool set, probably not worth at this point in wipe. Right, then this is a good part, okay? There's PCs back here. So there's a room here, a room here. There is four PCs in this room and three PCs in the other. So, okay, we get a power cord here. So I'm going to drop that over the GM count. Another power cord. So I'm actually going to do that. Okay, nothing here. And the fourth PC is right back in this right-hand corner. Again, nothing good there. All right, we're going to make our way to the next room. So if you go right to the back corner here, there's a PC right here. Next PC is on this desk here. So in these back areas, there's actually a total of seven PC spawns. So I would 100% check them every single raid because the chances are eventually... You might find a GPU in them. I usually find probably three GPUs on my scav runs a day. So, yeah, definitely check them PCs. This scav is really scaring me. I have a feeling he is going to try and kill me at extract. So we're going to run away from him. There's another AI scav down there. Make sure you don't kill scavs, guys. Keep your keep your scav reputation high. If you want to make the most amount of money, make sure you keep that scav rep high. You can get some really good spawns. I consistently spawn with Ledexes at the start of my 
scavrons. So, yeah. The last thing I will loot is this stash right back here on the rock. Okay, so stash here. Hopefully, we get something good out of it. Chainlet, probably not worth taking. Alkali, again, not worth taking. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything good. But yeah, and then we head to Extract. So I do this loot run every single time I scav resets. It's probably one of the best ways to just make free money. But yeah, it's free money every single raid. If you get really lucky, high amounts of money a raid. I've made about a million, 1.2 on raids before. Uh, obviously, depending on your scav, if you get a bigger backpack, of course, you will make more money. But yeah, so that is basically it to the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. We're on the road to 1k followers right now. Also, if you don't know, I stream five days a week on Twitch. Monday through Thursday, Friday through Saturday. So, come drop by. We have a little chill vibe. We're currently doing a road to 100 million. So... Make sure to drop by and lads, I will see you guys later.